Nestled in the shadows of Lake Mountain is Marysville Caravan and Holiday Park, with the star of the show, the beautiful river that dissects this space. We love hearing the children. That's the thing that really gets us excited, is to see, hear the children in the river. And in the summertime, that's what they love. But we're in town as well, so it's walking distance to all the coffee shops and the, the supermarket. The tranquil feel here wasn't always the case. In fact, when Christine and Ken took over the place, it was right in the aftermath of the Black Saturday fires. It looked like a bomb had gone through it. We had a few cabins that had uh, surprisingly um, survived the fire. So we didn't know very much about caravan parks. Huge learning curve for us. We... Can you take us back to that horrific day in February 09? It was dark and it was ashy. People talk about the roar. I've got no recall of hearing the roar. I think that you just go into an automatic move and, and we leave. And we ended up in Alexandra and sitting, sitting on an oval for the night there where it came through to us in the very early hours of the morning that the town had been uh, wiped out. And by the first thing in the morning, we started to hear about friends that had died. And, and that was sort of the roller coaster ride that we started then. You just sit and you wait, and that's all you can do. Uh, your life becomes other people's life. So there is always a forward, and it's about not dwelling too much in the back of what's, what's happened, that you have to get up, you have to dust yourself off, and you have to move forward. And I did notice on my little travels around a gorgeous little chapel. That's pretty unique for a caravan park. We can do weddings or vow renewal or baby naming ceremonies, that sort of thing. People will be able to just sit and relax and do some meditation if that's what they want to do. Making full use of this family-friendly park are the Bradleys, Mark and Sharon and their kids Ryan and Matthew. So you guys have made the transition from camping in tents to caravanning. You've got to be happy about it on a day like today. <laughs> Absolutely wrapped with this. I mean, uh -huh. look at the weather. It's the, the van is perfect. It's put up with the weather beautifully and uh, nice and warm with the heater, so it's a great result. We're really happy. The Bradley's van is easy to tow through town and when you get to your destination, easy to set up. Essentially in sort of 15 or so minutes the whole thing's set up, another 10 minutes to make the beds and do all that sort of stuff and you're ready to go. Kids go off and jump on the jumping pillows and have a muck around, Sharon opens her first bottle of wine and <laughs> I have a beer and off we go. <laughs> How do you reckon your holidays will change? We can just go for short breaks like just that, and this is only an hour and a half from home, we'll have to get up here quickly without having to do a big packer. You guys have been making some memories. What's the highlight been from this trip? Well, the kids have had their first experience in the snow and they've mm. just had an absolute ball. These guys are living proof of just how addictive this caravanning and camping lifestyle is. And the kids will remember this trip for years to come. To book a stay at this beautiful park or any of the proud Family Parks members, log on to familyparks.com.au.